Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to a quick but important video regarding big changes that have been made by the fly-by-wire team to their A32NX aircraft. Now, those of you that are familiar with the mod will of course know that there have always been three versions. There is the stable build, there is the developer build and there is the experimental build. The stable build is, as the name suggests, the most stable version of the mod and it's been heavily tested by the team, so you shouldn't have any problems using this version, but it does not always have the latest features that the team have been working on. This version as well is usually bug-free up until the time that there is an update to the simulator. Sometimes a world update or even a sim update can affect this aircraft. Thankfully, the fly-by-wire team are usually very, very quick at rolling out a hot fix and we are currently on version 0.7.3 of the stable build so if you don't have that version following sim update 7 you may be experiencing some issues the developer build has always been the most up-to-date version of the mod and this always has the latest features that the team have tested and implemented and some of these of course are not yet merged over into the stable build until they are 100% happy. However, it is very rare that you get anything wrong with the developer build and it is the one that most of us usually fly in the, uh, in the sim. Finally then, we have the experimental build, and the experimental build is the version of the mod that the Fly-by-Wire team have been using for their custom flight management system. Now, you will have seen me flying this if you have ever watched the live streams, as this is the version of the mod which doesn't use any Zobo coding. It is purely custom built by Fly-by-Wire. So all of the navigation systems, everything that you see in your flight plan page on the McDo is all built by fly-by-wire that means the sort of bugs that we used to have when selecting a star on the approach meaning your aircraft would sometimes turn around right back to the start of the approach very annoying um, that was an azobo problem the fly-by-wire team have fixed this and that was available in the experimental build until now Happy with the progress of the custom flight management system in the experimental build, the team have recently now merged everything from the experimental build into the developer version. So if you are now flying and downloading the latest developer version, you are flying the Fly-by-Wire A32NX with Fly-by-Wire's custom flight management system and you will find it is absolutely fantastic. No more bugs when messing around and putting in waypoints or deleting waypoints, it just works. However, there are some issues that you may need to be aware of if you weren't already experienced with the experimental build. The first thing that you will have noticed when flying the new developer build is that suddenly TCAS, ground radar and the weather radar are no longer operational. Well, this is because of the way that the fly-by-wire team are building their, their own aircraft without reliance upon the Azobo systems. They, of course, do plan on bringing these features back, but it is going to take a little bit of time. So if you still require these features as an essential, then for now, stick with the stable build. But in all honesty, I prefer knowing that I've got a flight plan manager that will just do exactly as I expect it to without throwing up any surprises. So yes, whilst it's nice having terrain radar, weather radar and of course TCAS, particularly when flying on VATSIM, I'm much happier knowing my flight management system will not shoot me off to a random waypoint somewhere that I wasn't expecting it to. You'll also find now in the developer build that with this custom flight plan manager, you get no more user waypoints. They have gone. And one thing you also need to check when scrolling through your flight plan is check for flight plan discontinuities. These need removing and that can just be done by pressing the clear button and then selecting the discontinuity. And uh, you can see from this little example, a little gap here in the flight plan, we can just clear that out, close that up and then our flight plan is complete this is as per the real world as well this they, they do exist in the real world so fly by wire doing a great job just there but always make sure that you haven't got any of those in your flight plan otherwise when you get to the uh, discontinuity your aircraft will just jump into heading mode and continue flying on whatever heading your aircraft was pointing originally 
Finally then, if you are flying any third-party mods that are reliant on the fly-by-wire uh, technology of mods, then you need to make sure that you have the stable build in your community folder, as no third-party mods rely on the developer or the experimental build. So the dev build, if you are flying a different mod that requires and is based upon the fly-by-wire technology. Make sure you don't have more than one version of the fly-by-wire aircraft in your community folder at any time though, otherwise that will cause you some errors. So just to quickly recap then, the stable build is as it always was, the stable build and the developer build is now what was the experimental version. The experimental version as it stands for the, certainly the next few weeks whilst new tests have been doing is no longer being updated for the time being that is new things are being added by the team all the time but they will not be added to the experimental build for uh, for some time yet so just stick with either stable or the developer build let me know in the comments guys which one you're going to opt for and if you do have any problems leave a comment down below and i uh, look forward to getting back to you hopefully with answers to your questions if you found this video useful please don't forget to hit the like button and of course if you're brand new please don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on that notifications bell so you don't miss any future content thanks very much for watching i shall see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.